I'm so excited we get to destroy some lights today. Got four lights here. We're gonna find out which one is the most durable. So as a quick setup, we have torture tested lights in the past and we've gotten some flack for testing lights under submersion when those lights weren't rated for it. So that you're aware, anything less than IPX7 is only rated for spray or less. Now, all of these lights that I have here are IPX7 or above. The Surefire is IPX7, which is rated for 30 minutes of immersion up to one meter or three feet. I've also got the Mod Light and the Cloud Defensive that are rated at IPX8, which is 24 hours at two meters. And finally, I've got the Streamlight. It's IP68 rated, which means that it's not only rated for submersion at that two meter, 24 hour depth, but it's also rated for dust. This is the only light here that's rated for dust, and I don't really have a good test for dust, but this is the strongest rated light. To be honest, I bet all these lights would do just fine in the dust. So what I have here is a spray tester. It sprays the lights with mist. We're gonna let this thing go for about an hour with all four of these lights inside. We're gonna keep them turned off. And when they come out, we're gonna make sure that they still work and they better. This is a pretty easy test for the lights. I wanted to start off easy. Now, just to verify, I've got fresh batteries in all of these lights. Let's go ahead and get them set up. All right, so we've let these lights sit for about an hour in this. So let's take a look and see if we have functioning lights. Here's the Surefire, which works. Streamlight works. Cloud Defensive works. And the Mod Light, it works. So we got everything working. So with that, I'm bringing in Christian, Jameson, and Nick, and we're gonna test these out. So I brought you guys in. We know all these lights passed the first test, which was super easy, but what I want to do now is I want each one of us to hold these lights in our hand, cover the bezel, turn it on, and see how hot it gets. So I've got the cloud defensive with the uh, high candela head. You've got the Surefire dual fuel. You've got the mod light with the OKW, and you've got the Streamlight ProTac HLX. Let's have some fun. Let's see if these things burn us. Ready? Go. I'm already getting hot. I'm already feeling some heat in my pinky. Okay, this isn't bad still. This is actually comfortable enough. I can tell it's warm, but I would might I might not feel it in my pocket yet still. But I, yeah. I say about the same. Oh, that was 36. I feel like a fresh mug of coffee. Yeah, I'm thinking the cloud's gonna get 36, the 37 and a half. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh 33.4, that's nothing. <laughs> All right, who's number two in terms of heat? I think you and me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's but try I, it. I think I'm getting acclimated. 35, yeah. 35, yeah. 42 and a half. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, 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 oh. That is crazy. Yeah, who's, who's really hot? Who do I need to, to infrared? Feel, I'm getting warmer, but it's not. It doesn't it's feel hot. Warm. It's not oh, uncomfortable. It's just, it feels warm. I got, oh, it got goodness. To where it got to its highest, and now I, I'm either getting acclimated or the heat's going down. Yeah, as these lights throttle down from thermal and from the battery starting to drain. Yep. What are we looking at here? Ooh, you're pretty hot. Wow. It was 40.1, but okay. it's a little bit less now. Mine's burning where the light's actually shining. The 41 and a half. itself is cool. Now, what does it take to start a fire with this, though, if you hold it like right up? Let's I mean, put it on your mustache. <laughs> Singe some hairs. I think this thing's starting to cool down finally. I think mine's maxed out, and it's not bad. 39.6 is the max. Yeah. I guess 34. What's the over-under? You are actually 34.8 was the yeah. max wow. I got. you're right on it. <laughs> Man, and you, you can do Celsius in your head. <laughs> I think what I learned is smoking hot, smoking hotter. The next test, we're going to go ahead and freeze them in a cup of water. And we're going to come back tomorrow and then we're going to break them out. Here. to the fridge.
we go. Let's first see if we can turn these on and then we'll go ahead and figure out how the heck we get them out of the ice. Do we have light? We're all on. Oh look, it's flickering, that's funny. It went higher now. We gotta figure out how to get them out. It looks like you've got a tool. I do. I've got a tool. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that mostly works. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> we know that these will dent their own batteries uh, when dropped on the tail cap. So uh, I've got another light that's actually done that. But let's go ahead and just start testing these. What I want to do is I want to take this and we're each going to take turns dropping it through. We'll drop them through on the tail cap and then we'll do that five times. And then let's take them out and see if they take them apart, see how well they survived. One. Oh. Turns itself off. It, it probably just clicked the button. Same with that one, I guess. We'll find out though. Hey, all right. So, round two. Hold on. The surefire. Surefire is the first casualty? Dead already. Yep, not going. Mod light too. What? Oh, I'm shocked. I am, because I've dropped my personal mod light a million times. In the last video, I dropped it three times from here, and it, it never even turned off. It survived. We'll just keep going. So round three. We're going to keep it all even. Not turning on, but dropping it. All right. Mod light. One more time. I wonder if the battery's failing. Find out. That was number five. Final one's oh. pretty nice, still golden. All right, so we got the cloud here. And, oh, hey, now it's staying on. I, so what I had done is I felt like the tail cap was a little bit loose, but if you look, you can see the battery did get dented and that is, that is kind of normal for cloud. Sure fire still not working. Dented in there as well. Still nothing. <laughs> okay, pull that battery out. Try to try that battery and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> military <laughs> spec. This is proof military grade doesn't mean anything. All right, so mod light. We have nothing. I'll go ahead and take off the front end first because that's where the battery comes out of. And it looks like it's starting to crack on the seal there. There we go, so yeah, yeah, the battery is failed, I guess, is what it seems like. So it's on now with a different battery. Right. We will go get a new battery for that. And the cool thing is, if you carry a spare battery, that is field serviceable because there's failures that are field serviceable that I weigh considerably less yep. than non-field serviceable failures, right? I still would carry one of these though, for now. All right. Okay, here we go. We got the stream light. This one was on every time. All yep, five it drops. stayed on. Looks brand new. <laughs> Show the <laughs> camera. Not a scratch. That's awesome. Scratch. Turn off again. Hey, look, the streamlight's still working. Surefire still dead. <laughs> it didn't Number fix the three. problem. Two hours later. Three of us have working lights, huh? My glass is cracked. Oh, so better show that to the camera. Still dented in the rear, but it's fine. Please, no jokes about being dented in the rear. So this guy's still pretty dented in the rear as well. So mod light, looks like this is a new battery. So this only has five drops and you can see it's destroying, oh, oh, it's wow. destroying the positive. It's an innie. It's now an innie, yeah. Yep, the cloud looks fine comparatively. It is fine, yeah. yeah. And this one's not been changed. But besides that, it does still work. <laughs> we got the stream light. This was on all 10 drops. Yep, same battery too. Same battery, oh. It's starting, it's starting to come apart. It's starting oh. to come apart. Very slowly. And it keeps working. All the more props to stream light <laughs> so far. That's awesome, yeah. So we've dropped these 10 times, which is kind of reasonable. I have actually driven over lights of mine. Let's go drive over these. There we go. <laughs> Turn it on. <laughs> Nothing. See that turns on? Nope. 
That's all four. Want to go forward? We'll find out what happens. Ooh. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Hey. Nice. Still works. Awesome. I don't see any glass, so. Yeah. Christian, what about your non-functioning Surefire? <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> this is. This oh, man, it doesn't work. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, works. no. All right. That's Mod light time. Work. It might be cracked more. It definitely works. Uh, aluminum body beat up by the rocks. Makes sense. But it might be cracked a little more. It looks the same almost, though. Streamline. Not cracked. Still looks good. <laughs> and it works. It still works. <laughs> Cheapest light. Has passed the best, hasn't it? We are clear. <laughs> so, tightening the head. Come on. <laughs> All banged up, still not working. In front of there, and let's go. Turned off, it twisted both the caps, it still works. Boy, I don't know, maybe we do the two meter immersion for these. <laughs> that should kill some. That, yeah, at this point. Okay, we got the stream light. We'll save the best for last. <laughs> Just a tad loose. Yep. But it's still all together, it's still on. Wow, I think these lights have really proven themselves. So which light's not working? Surefire. Sure sure oh, your, your cloud's working just fine, mod light is. Uh, the light's turning off, they didn't fail at all. They just untwisted the, the caps, yep. which is, that's perfectly reasonable. There's no issue with that. I, I think we've really got to just torture test these. I'm going to bring back the dreaded two meter saltwater dunk tank. <laughs> of death because we know it killed like six lights the last time or four lights yep let's just go kill them i'm going to step things up a notch i'm going to do the hated two meter immersion in salt water this we know kills lights and my guess is without the bezel or without the lens this mod light is probably going to be the first to go. Tuesday, we dunked them. It is now Thursday. They've had almost 48 hours to be sitting in here. My hope is that some lights are dead. And yes, this is not <laughs> super realistic, right? But all these lights lasted so darn well that I need to do something to help us get some attrition out of them. So let's drain the tube, get these lights out of there and throw some charged up batteries in and see if they work. So it's, I know it's working. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready, point, point the lights at the camera, let's see. Hey, oh, uh, is that bright well? I got a working light. I've got a working light. Nope. Is it dry on the inside? Pull it out, let's uh, a little bit. Put a fresh battery in. Yeah, it's wet in there. Okay, so we have intrusion. It is wet. Hey. Yay! I gotta say, this is unexpected. We put three lights in the killer dunk test and all of them come out working. If you look at how deformed, there's some areas of this cloud that are very deformed mm -hmm. and you go, the O-rings are still sealing. It's still doing its job. Yeah. That, even with water <laughs> and a, a broken lens, it's working. It's on. <laughs> yeah, the stream light, all it needed was a new battery. Yes, yep. there was some water intrusion. As a matter of fact, we should see Check if there's out. water Dump intrusion. Got anything? Nope. 
So my head, I know, does. The battery will come out the back. It's only the front. But look, it looks, looks pretty dry. It looks good. Yeah, there's water in the head, but it didn't make it into the battery container. Yeah, and the glass was, the glass was cracked. So. Let's take a look at that one. There, there we go. Nope, no water. If only it survived the drop test. So in summary, the Cloud Defensive dented its own battery, but it kept on working. The Mod Light destroyed two batteries, and it had a broken uh, lens, but it, with a fresh battery, keeps on working. The Surefire died on the drop test almost right away. Uh, no water intrusion, but there's not much else we can say about it. And the Streamlight kept on ticking up until the water immersion test. It had a little bit of water intrusion and with a new battery came back and worked. I would say that all of these lights, the Cloud Defensive, the Mod Light and the Streamlight are all proven to be reliable lights. Don't know what to say about the, the Surefire. Uh, it died early on, and, well, there it sits. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is Shan. Have a blessed day.